What up, players? It's Wolboss Tay up this mug at my local game store for another Imperial Guard versus Eldar battle in our Battle on Triton campaign set. So here's my 750 list. Let me take you through it. Here is, uh, just in case I forget, we've got Aegis Defense Line, Chimera with Heavy Flamer and Multi Laser. Uh, Lehman Russ with Heavy Bolter Sponsons. I have no idea what kind of cannon this is, but I'm just running it as a regular battle cannon, the uh, standard one. Here's my Vet Squad. I've got three Flamers in there, and they're gonna go in the Chimera. Company Command Squad. I gave my Company Commander a Power Fist to help him punch some Eldar in the face. We've also got a Vox, an Auto Cannon Team, and the Regimental Standard, which should um, help hopefully if we have to take lots of morale and pinning tests. Then I've got my company or platoon command squad with a junior officer and a Vox. Three infantry squads which I'm gonna blob up. Sergeants in two of them, sergeants in a third, only one Vox operator, and Commissar Bane. No special weapons. So that's my 750 point list and here is Ryan's all beautifully painted. Oh, okay. Okay, so we deployed and set up our armies. First thing we uh, did was pick our table quarters and then set up the fortifications. Then we set up the terrain. The objective of this mission is somebody has to be, whoever's holding this in the center at the end of the game wins. It's on a hill. Command post. Yeah. Command post. <laughs> yeah, that's like the objective of the game to help move the campaign forward. We've got a hill. Observe. Observing post? Oh, observing, yeah, to, observing to shoot post. Artillery into the city? Yeah, yeah to, to lob artillery into the city where the next battle is going to be. We've got ruins. Uh, area terrain forest, wave serpent over there, hills, striking scorpions. We've got a road that leads all the way around and some muddy terrain which is going to count as uh, difficult terrain. Hill uh, and as you can see I castled up here, put a little moat in the front, got my um, Aegis defense line and everybody just clumped in the back there with my Lehman Russ uh, holding court and my Chimera with my Flamer Vets in it, ready to rush forward. The quarters you see represent loot, which is going to be extra, exper uh, extra points for um, the next game, so everybody wants to get the loot. Uh, and then we've got Lightning Rods, which harness the lightning in the uh, environment, and you can use them as uh, shooting attacks, I think, if you're, if you're nearby them, to shoot at the enemy. Oh, no, you can shoot. You can shoot at the lightning rods. Oh, you can shoot at the lightning rods. So that so they, all the lightning rods do is they attract lightning to them. So oh, in okay. case of a lightning storm, it'll just put it on that. Oh, that, that's right. So if there was a lightning storm, then it might randomly hit you like an orbital bombardment or something. Yeah. But then um, with the lightning rods around, it attracts, it attracts the, lightning. the lightning so your guys are safe. Which is good if there's a lightning storm, um, which is one of the random weather conditions. The weather conditions we rode for was muddy terrain. It's really rainy, so um, heavy rain, heavy rain. yeah, heavy rain, which means that uh, ballistic, ballistic skills reduced by one. Yeah. And um, what else did we roll from the beginning? It's night fighting, right? Is and it night fighting? yeah, yeah. Did you roll for it. Um, I think it's on a five plus or something like that. I think I, I thought we rolled that like at the very. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a long morning. Okay, so uh, we'll. We'll see if it's night fighting or not. I, I, I prefer it not be, but I have search lights just in case. Yeah, so and oh yeah, uh, what else? I, th I think we're all set, ready to go. So everyone's at plus one leadership. Oh yeah, because of all the loot counters, everyone's at plus one leadership. They're all excited. Everyone's at minus one ballistic skill due to the heavy rain. Yep. And Negative then one ballistic skill. There's a possibility skill. of a lightning storm. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah. If the heavy rain ends at the end of the turn uh, randomly, then uh, it might either clear up and everything's okay with just muddy terrain around, or um, or a lightning storm starts, in which case the lightning rods will help out a lot. Right. All, right. All right, so we're uh, gonna get started. Ryan has the first turn, and I'm, I'm not gonna try to steal the initiative, I'm gonna let him have it, so that I can just lob rocks at him from across the way. All right, end of Eldar turn one. His wave serpent shot at my chimera here and took off a hull point, and uh, also moved forward a little bit. All right, so t uh, bottom of my turn one, shot my battle tank, or battle cannon, over and uh, it hit a bunch of guys, but uh, they all made their cover saves. And then I shot at him with the quad gun and it was able to kill uh, the first guy right at the front. So his striking scorpion's down one. That's all I was able to, to do. Couldn't see his wave serpent hiding like a sneaky Eldar. So uh, we'll see what happens at the top of turn two for Eldar. 
Okay, so the bottom of Eldar turn two, the wave serpent, serpent moved a little bit and shot at the Chimera and was able to take it down a hull point and immobilize it with a penetrating hit. The Swooping Hawks came in and the Scorpions relocated just a little bit. And uh, there we are, so top of Imperial Guard turn two. All right, so with a combination of regular las gun shooting and multi-lasers from my immobilized Chimera, um, unfortunately my uh, auto cannon or the quad gun and the auto cannon, all they were able to do was take off a hull point from the wave serpent. But the battle cannon and the heavy bolters from my Lehman Rust did a nice little number on the striking scorpions. Unfortunately, they took so many of them away, I can't see any of them now without risking another <laughs> without risking another dangerous turn. Unfortunately, we killed every guy but one dude. So <laughs> well, yeah, now, they've got they've got more so scorpions coming in. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on, but my guys are all bunkered in, so I, I, I might decide to, to get them out and get some exercise and run through the run through the moat. So um, the plan is now move the Lehman Russ around and just go uh, tank hunting, see if we can kill that thing. Uh, we'll see if the swooping hawks arrive at the top of Eldar turn 3. Bottom of Eldar turn 3, look at this huge hole where all my guys used to be. First he came in with his swooping hawks and dropped the big bomb uh, that went off over there, the grenade pack, and then he fired his wave serpent, the serpent shield uh, vehicle weapon that they have just obliterated my command squad, totally just wiped all of them out, my invulnerable save for my company commander didn't do anything, it was brutal, and then his swooping hawks shot another giant hole into this area around here and took out a whole nother bunch of guys, so there's my dead pile, it's growing like every good Death Corps of Krieg dead pile should be, uh, we'll see if I can bring it back in the next turn. So this is the battlefield as it is now. My Lehman Rust moved in a little bit. Tried to shoot at the Swooping Hawks, was only able to get one with the heavy bolt responses. We were able to wreck that wave serpent though. Thank goodness that serpent shield was gonna be a pain in the butt. Disembarked my vet so they could run forward and hopefully uh, get to grips with the Dire Avengers soon. And uh, that's it. They ate my veterans. The Dire Avengers came out and they moved to here. They threw a lot of shurikens into my veterans and chopped them up, I'm trying to decide if it was a worthwhile idea to take them out since the other guy was wrecked. I could have just uh, shot at them, but oh well, you live and learn. Hawks uh, kind of consolidated into the center. They are on the objective, so they are on their way to winning the game. They poured a lot of fire onto my side of the board. Oh, I think I have to take another leadership test. Made that huge hole, so I'm going to be um, uh, consolidating, moving everybody uh, back into coherency, get somebody else on that gun, and uh, see if we can knock him off or, or do something by the end of the, the game. Uh, bottom of Imperial Guard turn 4. Wasn't able to really do much, it just moved everybody together. I uh, have left of my Blob Squad and everybody, just my Platoon Command Squad, Commissar Bane and my, his Infantry Squad there, the Lehman Rust there. I was able to kill one guy, I got a direct hit with my Battle Cannon but thanks to cover saves they all made it and um, with the multi-laser was able to take one guy out of the Dire Avenger squad. So it doesn't look like I'm going to win, but we'll see if we roll the one more turn. So um, we'll see what I can do by then. Uh, yeah, go ahead. So the Dire Van Avengers were able to wreck my Chimera by hitting it enough times in the, in the side. Um, these guys just got up. I'm going to try and see if I can get them back down uh, in, the next, in the next turn, move my guys up and hopefully grab some of these booty counters before the game ends. All right, so exciting turn. We're going to see in just a second if we're able to uh, capitalize on any of it. But uh, my platoon command squad moved up to the gun, shot some holes in the sweeping hawk squad, reduced one of them to just the Altarch or Exarch. Or Exarch, I'm yeah. sorry. And the uh, Commissar Bane squad came out and they ran and they grabbed the booty counter. So I don't know if I if we make it to another round. Let's see if we can either get the second booty counter or see how uh, how the Eldar. Uh, what they do if they wipe me out or not by the end of the game. And uh, everything else is as is. Battle Cannon shot went wide, unfortunately. That would have been a great help. So his Dire Avengers moved up. Luckily their uh, battle focus run wasn't uh, big enough to get them into range of my pitiful little squad that's left. Go Commissar Bane, swim! I've got my platoon command squad here at the end of the Eldar turn. All they, uh, The only damage they were able to do was knock off this guy here, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose the game uh, if, yeah, because I don't think there's any way I can get my guys in um, 
unless, yeah, unless I do some, I, I don't know, probably not. So more booty for me. So here's the end of the game shot. Uh, my guys grabbed their booty counter and they wanted to run up the hill, but there was seven swooping hawks in there. I wanted to clear them out a little bit though, so uh, I shot everything I could at it, and then all the guys in the front were taken out, which meant that they had to make an impossibly long, longer charge that way. So we decided to try and hit that guy. Uh, unfortunately, didn't make it, and um, the game ended there. Dire Avengers, luckily, they didn't get in on their turn, and um, this is the end of the game. So it's another loss for the Imperial Guard, and uh, we were, it was a close one, but unfortunately weren't able to pull it off. We were able to get one booty counter, so that should help, but uh, Ryan got a bunch, and he's also in command I of... Got two. Oh, you got two? Yeah, oh, okay. Two. And he's also in command of the observation post here at the top of the hill, so that, so that should give him a bump in the next campaign mission. Uh, there have been some people asking about uh, what are the rules and the missions that we're using, so you I'll see if I can... Yeah, we'll see if we can get that out in, a, in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching, this is Battle 2 of the Raid on Triton 750 point game, Imperial Guard versus Eldar.